Good morning, folks. We've got a look at the sun, an earthquake, a super flare at another star, and a full plate of atmospheric electricity to follow. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun were pretty calm. The dark coronal holes are small and spread around. Bright sunspot groups on the south are happy to calmly trudge across the surface with little activity. As we zoom in and switch to ionized helium, we do find numerous filaments, and at the brightest point we see plasma sputtering out, like the flare stacks you find at refineries. It's a solar-confined activity that won't affect space weather. Folks, just a few minutes before releasing this video, a major earthquake struck Croatia. At this location, this magnitude and shallow depth, our prayers need to go out to those nearby. More information will come throughout the day, and FYI, this region has been under a red alert on our prediction app. Another noteworthy quake of the day was offshore of Oregon. We've had a black alert star over the west coast of the USA due to increased activity in a southward moving low cell in the global electric circuit on approach. Eyes open at least one more day out west. Now let's jump out to space and in these images we've got a before, during, and just after capture of a super flare on an ultra cold star. The magnitude of the event slightly exceeds the believed maximum flare energy of the sun by about 20%. And one might ask, how do we know it was a super flare and not a micronova given all the small recurrent nova we've seen recently that are smaller than this eruption? And we don't. It was simply a stellar outburst caught in the act. And to give you an idea of how long it takes for science to mature after data observation, this flare occurred on December 29, 2018, two years ago today. Now let's bring it back to Earth, and we're going to be focusing on atmospheric electricity. From the ionosphere and its modulation down through the atmosphere within the global electric circuit, and interaction with the atmospheric boundary layers down at the surface. Folks, in this case, ontology would mean the identification of effects and forcing pathways and how they all relate to one another. That's atmospheric electricity and human health. And indeed, from space weather to 5G, the subject is understudied and underappreciated from that human health standpoint. From an electrical perspective, they are discovering alternating layers of space charge at the atmospheric boundary layer, which by the way is down at the troposphere touching the surface. Where these boundary layers connect to the surface, they find the highest charge density, providing the crustal input points for the downward fair weather global electric circuit flow that does make it past the moisture and other atmospheric density layers. But folks, the most important solar climate forcing studies show the immediate effect of space weather from the magnetic field down through the atmosphere to rapidly force the clouds, humidity changes, and temperature fluctuations. Indeed, all the way to the surface. Now last but not least, they merely say it another way, a slight variation from our 10-year talking point that attempts to summarize how space weather works the world. The perturbations in the ionospheric layer are projected down into the lower layers of the atmosphere. Not sure I could say it any better myself. The global electric circuit preserves the structure and induction takes care of the rest. Veteran observers, can you say here at the end of 2020 that you have noticed the shift from identifying statistical correlations between the sun and the weather towards attempts to discover and describe the mechanisms and specific details of the activity. It's like everything from our book that was a statistical fact but mechanical mystery is being resolved. 300 pages, 500 citations. Learn more at spaceweathernews.com slash publications. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.